Apex has gotten a lot and a lot and a lot of drama for having really expensive items. So why not tier list the most expensive items because you may accidentally own one that's more expensive than you think. And we're going to start this list off with the most controversial skin in Apex history, the Reactive Peacekeeper Recolor, introduced in the Celestial Sunrise event where it was sold as an heirloom which is absolutely insane. Respawn got so much backlash over selling this Reactive Recolor as an heirloom priced item they actually just straight up said, yeah, sorry, we're never doing that again. So, this is going in C tier because I'll tell you what, there's a lot more expensive stuff coming up on this list and it might make you pretty bad. For the next tier, we have the most expensive set of trackers, which were for Gibraltar and they only tracked arena stats, which also makes them currently absolutely useless. These were contained in a $40 bundle, making them the most expensive trackers obtainable inside Apex. And this gets into D tier. With this next tier, we're kind of basically just just setting the baseline because this is a normal legendary skin that's normally sold for 1,800 Apex coins. Despite only being $18 when converted to real money, this is going to have to be an E tier item because it gets a lot more expensive, much like the next item on this list, which is this simple badge. The weird thing is, this simple badge was not only one of the most expensive items, but also one of the hardest to obtain items in Apex. As this item was actually only obtainable through the Apex Legends and Monster crossover, where in this crossover, every time you bought a monster can, there was a code on the back that you entered onto a website, and on this website, you basically tracked all of the monster cans you drank. And to get this badge right here, you had to enter codes from 50 individual monster cans, meaning to get this badge, you had to buy 50 cans of monster, which usually put most people about $100 back which makes this a super hard badge to obtain and also a relatively expensive one but in this in c tier the next item on this tier list might surprise a lot of you especially if you didn't play apex from the start because it's the wraith heirloom and it's gonna go in a tier you didn't expect because a lot of people are unaware but the wraith heirloom wasn't actually sold in a collection event but instead it was just straight up put into packs as a random item under the same chances as heirloom shards so one in 500 making it around a 500 dollar heirloom to buy outright before respawn more recently started selling heirloom shards in collection events, making it an S tier, because this is straight up $500. The next item on this list seems like a normal epic skin, but let me tell you, it's definitely not. This is an epic skin from the Iron Crown event, an event where you couldn't straight up buy skins from collection events like you can today, but you had to hope you get lucky and get it from a pack, making this skin cost anywhere from $10 to $160, making it one of the most rare and expensive epic skins at the time. Although, this is only going to land it in D tier, because there's a lot more expensive things on this list, like this next item, which I'm sure you've all been waiting for, as it's the final fantasy sword, infamous for basically being only available through gambling. If you're not aware, this was released in the Final Fantasy event back in January, and the only way to obtain this sword was to get lucky in one of the 36 packs in this event, making it cost up to $300 to get this sword, and unfortunately, most people had to buy all of the packs to get this sword. Putting it in A tier because it was quite expensive, and the fact that you had to gamble for it didn't help very much. The next thing we're going to tier in this list, though, is the Bloodhound Heirloom, and you may think this should go in C tier because it's the same price as a normal heirloom, right? Well, no, because the Bloodhound Heirloom was sold in the Iron Crown event where Respawn were notoriously dodgy with their pricing, and it didn't operate like a normal collection event today because even if you opened all of the packs and got all 24 items, you still had to pay money on top to get the Bloodhound Heirloom, which is ridiculous. You wouldn't automatically get it. You had to go through an extra paywall. More specifically, you had to pay 3,500 coins to unlock it, which means it cost $35 on top of buying out the whole collection event. Not good at all this goes in B tier, barely scraping getting into A tier. The next item in this list is the most expensive banner frame in the game, and to my knowledge, there's four of these. There's one for Wraith, Revenant, Crypto, and Octane, and these banner frames come with the heirloom recolors when you unpack them. Once again, basically attaching a $160 price tag to these items. Because of this, the banner frames that come with recolored heirlooms are red tier rarity. So because this has the $160 price tag attached, this is once again going to go into C tier. The next item though is the most expensive charm in the game. And many people may assume this is one of the charms from the 100 pack bundles that cost around $70. But no, once again, this charm has the $160 price tag attached to it as it came with the reactive peacekeeper recolor heirloom. And honestly, this charm, $160, are you joking me? Not worth it. Once again, this will be landing in C tier. The next item is actually going to be a quite recent one because you may look at this and just think, 
Whoa, that's just a legendary skin. But it's not. It's actually a recently introduced tier called the Iconic tier, which is exclusive currently to crossover events like the Final Fantasy event and the Post Malone event. It was revealed in the Final Fantasy event that the base price for these Iconic skins is 2,100 Apex coins, which is 300 more than a normal legendary skin. There are no standout differences between an Iconic skin and a legendary skin. You wouldn't be able to tell them apart on the battlefield. The only visible difference is when you select them in the lobby, they have a bluey green glow under them rather than a yellow one. So this will be landing the Iconic skins in D tier. They're more expensive than the legendary counterparts, but they're definitely not the most expensive thing on this list. The next item is actually going to be a pretty simple one. It's a mythic emote, which I'm pretty sure now are discontinued or respawn might be experimenting with new things. As mythic emotes originally came with heirloom recolors, they came with the octane heirloom recolor and also the revenant heirloom recolor. The aspect that made these emotes mythics is that you could loop them until you press spacebar and then your character would interact with the items in the emote. So revenant would swing at a skull or wraith would try to hit the dummy and that was what separated them from legendaries. Currently though it seems they are discontinued in the favor of mythic finishers, which are now featured with the most recent Elden Recolors, being the Crypto Elden Recolor and also the Octane Elden Recolor. Although there's nothing crazy about this tier, once again, it has the $160 price tag attached to it, landing it in C tier. Weirdly enough as well, this next item is also discontinued. You can't obtain these in the original way as intended, as this next item are the Legend Editions, which were actually the most bang for your book you probably ever got in Apex Legends, as these editions cost $20 and came with a Legendary skin, a Legendary legendary weapon skin, a banner, a badge, and a thousand Apex coins, which is definitely worth it in the Apex economy. Unfortunately, once again, these were discontinued when the Lobra edition came out, although the skins still are sold in their bundles in the Apex store, albeit you don't get the coins with them anymore. Fun fact as well, this skin was actually made to be part of the Wraith edition before the editions were cancelled and it was just sold as a standalone skin. This will land legend editions in E tier because they're very, very worth it. The next tier is pretty simple just a normal heirloom that you buy from a collection event or maybe be lucky enough to get from packs. The most accepted price of an heirloom these days is $160 because that's the price it takes to buy out a whole collection event and receive the heirloom, so this is easily going into C tier and it doesn't need me to elaborate upon it more. This next item is going to be a quick one because we've already talked about it in this video, but it's heirloom tier finishers which were recently introduced with the Crypto Heirloom Recolor and also the Octane Heirloom Recolor. The only way to obtain these is through heirloom recolors, so once again, $160 price tag let's move on this next one is the most expensive rare skin and just try to take a guess at the possible price of this skin and then remember it because it will probably shock you once again this was part of the first monster crossover with apex and it cost a ridiculous amount of cans to get this skin how many cans 25 monster cans to get this skin that is just ridiculous putting the price of this skin around 50 dollars assuming a monster can is two dollars but you know relative to everything in this list that's still cheap which kind of hurts my brain so this is gonna have to go into detail although there was also a charm in this crossover which did cost a bit less than the heirloom tier charm although it still cost a ridiculous amount for a standalone charm as this charm cost 40 cans of monster so that will once again be 80 dollars which is a lot for this charm i mean it doesn't even look good landing this one in d tier as well it feels quite bad putting them in d tier because i feel like 80 dollars should be a bit higher on a tier list like this the next item is a skin a lot of you may have if you play on switch as it's the path skin the path skin this skin is only obtainable if you own a nintendo switch and basically any single switch gamer who's playing on the switch is given this skin automatically for free the thing is with the recent introduction of cross progression there was a big asterisk on it it said if you own the path skin on switch cross progression won't switch it over to other platforms so still with cross progression the path skin is only on switch making it basically the price of a nintendo switch which happens to be 300 dollars i doubt anybody has bought a nintendo switch just for this skin but the fact that the only way to obtain it is have a switch I'm going to be a bit cheeky and say that's the price. Bringing this bad boy into a B tier. The next item is a pretty simple one, which you probably assume is coming up. Prestige skins. Once again, they're sold in collection events. $160. That's going in C tier as always. And this next item may have confused you. Because how much can a legendary holo spray possibly cost? 
Well, if you've been paying attention throughout this video, you may have actually noticed it in the scene about the reactive Peacekeeper recolor. This hollow spray was once again included in the pack that gave you the reactive recolor, once again tying a $160 price tag to this. And this thing is definitely a flex, although nobody's going to know where you got it from, especially because it says Happy New Year. I mean, it doesn't even have anything to do with the Peacekeeper. This item is like the biggest afterthought ever. So we'll put that in C tier. And here's the final item, the one you were all expecting. This is the most outright expensive item in Apex of all time, and it is the Final Fantasy Death Box. To get this item, you had to buy 36 packs from the Final Fantasy event, and you only got it when you bought all of them. If you bought this Death Box skin and equipped it, it basically made it so any enemy you killed would take this Death Box as their own, which makes this Death Box a pretty good strategy to mark your kills. And this thing cost $300 nearly double the price of a normal heirloom. This thing is a straight up scam, and it makes me a bit worried about what else Apex has in store for the future. So this is going in A tier. But how many items off this tier list do you own? And also subscribe for a death box.